Hello and welcome back to another 12 days of Christmas. Today is day nine and we're joined by Mari Clark. Be sure to check out her channel. She is a phenomenal artist. Um, she does lots of fun mixed media and just really unique projects. So be sure to check her out. So today our true love gave to us die cuts. We know how the die cuts come in all of our collections and they can um, come with way too many than that we'll ever ever use. So hopefully today you'll be inspired by the three of us in different ways that you could use die cuts. I'm using another piece of my kit from the scrap room and so the nice thing about the kits is you just get a sampling of the different embellishments and the paper so it's just enough to create without being overwhelmed with a lot of product and having a lot of product left over. So I'm using with um, the Holiday Hustle Collection from Fancy Pants, and I loved this background paper with these trees printed on it. And I debated back and forth on whether to fussy cut them out and put them back on a piece of paper or try to scrapbook around them. And I decided to go ahead and leave it on the background and just work around it. So some of the die cuts that I received in my kit were some trees. So I knew I wanted to put those on the other side of my photos to kind of balance it all out and then build up from there. So you'll see on the right hand side there all of the different die cuts and the embellishments that came in my kit. And my goal when I started was just to use as many of them as I could. No rhyme or reason, didn't have to be, you know, make sense or whatever. I just wanted to use as many as I could, but still make it pleasant looking. And I think I did pretty good. I used quite a few, still have enough left to go with the rest of the paper I have, but made a really good dent into this. So what I've done so far is cut that background paper down just a little bit and matted it onto some cardstock that was in the kit. And then I went to my saw machine with a gold thread and just sewed these wonky circles for my background to frame my photo and to kind of rest my embellishment on. The photos, I went back and forth whether I wanted to have them straight across or what. I decided to mat them separate and I'm just going to offset them just a little bit. Um, these photos are from a night, uh, actually, was actually the very last night of Christmas Train, which is ran by our church and our family's been really involved um, since almost the beginning, like the second year that it had opened. Um, we've been out there every year, working every night, some days and nights um, for particular years. And so this was the very last night that it was going to run and so my husband was working as always and my daughter and I took the night off and went out and just kind of played around so I wanted to scrapbook those and I felt like this paper was perfect it's an old west town and this had soft colors and I loved these buildings so that was kind of what drew me to this paper for these photos um, the the area out there has all of these old west buildings and they turn them into Christmas shops um, during Christmas train and so these this die cut just reminded me of that so I knew that was going on this page so I decided to make it front and center put the little trees behind it so I could carry out that design all the way across the bottom and then I wanted to kind of play off this circle in the background so I had decided the Merry Christmas wood veneer was perfect to kind of use as part of my title and I tucked that snowflake up underneath it and put it right on top of that stitching so that I could kind of tie it that into the photo. So by touching the stitching and then bringing it into the photo and touching the photo, you just kind of pull it all together and it makes it, um, I don't know, it just makes it look better. Um, and up at the top, I decided to go ahead that I could put those ornaments up there and just have them hanging down. And so now I've got my little visual triangle going on and I've got my pops of colors repeated in all the different areas, uh, repeated kind of the snowflakes. I didn't have a smaller snowflake other than that white one with that's outlined in black off to the right, and it was just a little bit too stark, so I used the red foiled star kind of as my little snowflake off to the left there about my building. Then I wanted to repeat my wood veneer 
So I found an ornament to put up at the top and then these little triangles that kind of look like trees I put off to the left and then of course the Merry Christmas. Then we had all of these um, little word phrases and I decided I wanted to use as many of those as I could. Um, so there's window displays and hustle and bustle and those reminded me of um, Dry Gulch where this is at. So I decided to put those down with the buildings and then that red foil tis the season I thought really worked off the, the photos and the other embellishments so you can really see that red and that triangle there. But my husband, um, he helps load the wagons and he has this red handkerchief that he wears every night. And so that red foiling just really brought him out of the photos and brought those photos front and center um, away from the, the background because the background could get very distracting because it is so pretty and there's so many things going on and it just makes a little scene and kind of draws you in. But I felt like those little red embellishments really brought those photos back up to the front. And then I had this one that says Twinkle Lights and I'm just going to put that across the top of it. And really at this point I was so happy. It was such a quick, quick layout. And it just, I don't know, sometimes less is more. Now I know my goal was to put all the um, die cuts that I could on and there are quite a few on there, but I don't know. I don't feel like the layout's just overly, overly done. So I just think it's more of a simple kind of layout. I went ahead for my enamel dots and decided to sprinkle those around. And then I'm going to get my Heidi Swap Color Shine and kind of sprinkle that around in some different areas just to pull out some gold from that gold stitching. And then that's that's all I did. I'm going to go ahead and add my journaling down to the bottom um, between the trees in that little open space. I have several photos from this night so um, I'm not quite sure how all I'm going to do the journaling so I'm not going to do it until I finish um, scrapbooking all of the photos so that I can get the whole story down um, so that we will always remember our time here with the Christmas tree. So that's pretty much all I've done. I'm going to sprinkle it with some gold. Be sure to hop over to Heather's and Mari's YouTube channel. Subscribe. Leave comments because we're going to have some giveaways. We've got two giveaways that we're going to be doing at the end. So that's how we'll pick a name is off the comments and the subscribers. So be sure to do that if you're not already a subscriber with us. I hope you're loving this. I hope you're as excited as we are about bringing it to you and all of the awesome artists that agreed to come along with us. I'm still just pinching myself that they all said yes and just the amazing talent with all of the ladies. So I hope you're loving it. Hope you have a Merry Christmas. I will be back here tomorrow with day 10. So stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.